this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps. Thank you for joining me for another demonstration today. We're going to be using the Yepo card and our alcohol inks. I've picked three colours we're going to be using today. And that's Mushroom, Meadow and Dijon. Okay, so we're going to start with these lovely colours. And I'm just going to put them randomly onto the card. And then the mushroom being the darker colour. And then just using our blending solution, we're going to just pop that all over. You can see I use quite a bit of the blending solution and that just gives me more movement of the inks underneath. Okay, so I'm going to use the air dryer now and I'm just going to blow around the edge containing the colour and just move in chasing it around to create this lovely sort of smoky effect. Okay, so that's dry now. The colours have gone together a little bit more than I wanted, um, but that's fine. The print will be absolutely lovely, I'm sure. So we need our alcohol lift ink now and our brayer. And we shall take our multifarious card. And we'll have that by our side ready to take the print because we need to act quite quickly. So let's just draw a thin line across the top of the yepo. And then we just take the brayer, try and do it centrally, pull that down the page. Try not to put too much pressure on because as we've said before, it can create lines. So let's take this print and see what we've got. Oops. And there we go. Now straight away that's going to be lovely with some copper colours I think. So we need some perhaps some micas going on with this. Okay so I've trimmed that down and that's all dry now ready for us to stamp onto it. So I'm going to use a tree I think for this one tree in one of our hairs um, and I want to use some copper in this because it's quite a dark green um, and copper and green go so lovely together so <clears throat> I'm going to use some of the micas on here as well okay so just going to grab our block For our tall tree, I'm going to ink up in the nocturne. This is our Versafine. So I'm going to put that quite high up because I want it to be on a hill. So place that down. And then we're going to tear some paper. And I'm 
just going to line that up and I'm going to do the hill now. So picking a colour we could go with Shady Lane I think. Yeah, let's try Shady Lane first. Might not quite be dark enough but we'll give it a go. Okay, so along the edge. And I'm going to cover most of this area in this green. Because I'm going to put the mica over the top, which will make it stand out the darker I make this area. Okay, so I'm going to use the twilight now and I'm just going to go along the very edge at the top here. Like so. Okay, so that's quite dramatic now. So now I've got a shape of the mountain or the hill. I'm going to ink up in Shady Lane the same tree I'm just going to um, mask that area off pop another tree down here and I'm going to do the same again except this time I'm going to stamp off and we're going to do another one down here Okay, put my lids on before I forget and now we're going to ink up our little hair that we have here. I'm going to ink that up in the Nocturne. And then just bob that down like so. Okay, so I'm thinking that there's something a little bit more needed here, so I'm going to put another tree down here as well. I'm going to ink up, take off, mask that area off there we go, that's better. Just give it a little bit more of a balance. Okay, so we need some words. I think we'll go for two different types actually. We'll do a small verse and then we'll actually um, mica some larger words over the top. So I'm going to ink up in Shady Lane. Make sure I've got that the right way round. Stamp off. And the first set of words I just want to be very very faint okay something else I'm going to do is just pop a moon there as well if I 
just work my way around the edge So okay, so now I'm going to go back to the twilight and just work my way around the edge. And it's really starting to look like nightfall now just by adding that little bit of depth of colour okay so I need to dry this off completely because we're going to be using <coughs> micas powders they tend to stick to anything that's slightly damp so just wanted to make sure that that was dry and now we're going to take a smoothie and our Versamark and this is our stencil so I'm going to ink up the smoothie I don't mind it slightly overlapping and going up the page a little, I'm not too worried. I just want that copper effect. Okay, so let's see what happens now. If we brush on our mica minerals, this is the copper, I'm going to just take my brush, this is just my makeup brush, long abandoned, and then just go over that just carefully, a little bit at a time. You can build up the mica to be stronger as you go along. But I'm quite happy with that now. Okay, so I did say I was going to put some larger words over the top. Okay. We'll just go with that one. And our mini block. Spotted it. Hopefully this will fit on. Yeah, it will. The smaller block. Always best to get a stamp that fits the size of your block. It will stop that rocking. Okay, so colour wise, what shall we go with? Maybe we'll go with warm breeze. So inking up. 
make sure it's the right way round and we're just going to pop that down like so. And now we're just going to finish off with a little bit of glitter. This is our green and copper glitter, which I think will work quite well. So we need our glue pen. And I'm just going to pop that glue around the edge of the moon. And a little over the edge of the mountain that our little hair is sat on, sorry, stood on, watching out. And then I'll just sprinkle that over the top. And there we have it. And you can see that lovely mica down the bottom here. Well, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration, guys. Thanks so much for bearing with me and watching and supporting. I really appreciate it. You take care now. Speak to you real soon. Bye for now.